When two tiny chihuahuas were found cowering on the side of a busy UK highway, it was clear to see that they were in a bad way. However, just from looking at the two little furballs, it was impossible to realize the seriousness of their respective injuries. In September 2016, Peg and Pipsqueak were found abandoned on the busy A127 road in Basilton, Essex. A member of public kindly reported the pups to a local dog warden. When he arrived, though, the warden noticed that both dogs seemed to be sporting injuries. The dogs, a mother and pup, had no microchip or any other form of ID, and both were in a poor state of health, a statement from the warden read. Furthermore, the mom was clearly missing her back leg, while the pup appeared to be suffering from a head injury. The pair were duly rushed to the Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, otherwise known as the RSPCA Center in nearby Southland. Once there, the dogs received thorough checkups, and it was determined that Mom Peg would need surgery on her hind foot. The pair were then transferred to a foster home where they could recuperate before their treatment. Peggy is missing the lower part of her left rear leg, an injury which has now healed, and we believe she will need considerable veterinary and surgical treatment, Kathleen Butler, trustee and dog coordinator at the RSPCA, explained in a press release. The vet believes it is the result of a traumatic injury or could have been caused deliberately. Although amputation is an option, she may be referred for specialist treatment and could be suitable for a prosthetic limb, Butler continued. However, the surgery was going to be extremely expensive even if, after seeking the advice of a specialist veterinary surgeon, it was decided that amputation would be the best solution for Peg. The vets have not done this procedure on a chihuahua before. It would cost a minimum of 10,000 pounds or 12,200 American dollars, and the artificial limb would need to be replaced at some point incurring further costs, the RSPCA explained. So in order to raise the vital funds, the RSPCA campaigned on its Facebook page and also launched a crowdfunding campaign for Peg and Pip. Very soon, animal lovers helped raise about $1,500 to help the abandoned little doggies. Although the outcome for Peg is not what everyone had hoped for, we are still able to fund Pip's neurology investigations and both of their treatment plans at any rehab required moving forward because of your support. Thank you so much for helping to improve their lives and making a real difference, the grateful charity announced. But while her mom was facing amputation, Pip was also having a difficult time. The six-week-old pup was blind and suffering from having fluid on the brain. Vets were going to have to wait until the swelling went down before they could investigate further. It wasn't the fluid buildup in her brain causing Pip's blindness, though. Once the swelling decreased, Pip's prognosis turned out to be much, much worse. Even an ultrasound scan found no explanation to her sight issues, so the little chihuahua underwent an MRI scan to get to the bottom of her condition. In the meantime, as her blink reflex was damaged, vets had to give Pip eye drops six times a day. Still, despite her discomfort, she was a playful young puppy. It came as a shock then when the MRI scan revealed something very disturbing. It revealed that she's missing part of her brain, which means her optic nerves are not developed and she cannot see. It's something the neurology team at the Animal Health Trust had never seen in a dog before. Not only did the missing part of her brain control Pip's vision, he was also responsible for coordination and balance. So, although her brain was clearly not symmetrical, just how much she suffered from her affliction was uncertain. As a result then, ophthalmologists examined Pip, but their findings were mixed. They cannot say she is totally blind, although she did fail all the reflex and light tests, the RSPCA explained. What amazed them was that she did the obstacle test. She did not fail at all and negotiated the obstacles with ease. Still, Pip's condition was so shocking that some vets advised the RSPCA to put her down. They considered her prognosis poor and would recommend putting her to sleep. But she's still happy, playful, progressing well, and is not in pain or discomfort. We, along with our vet, did not feel it was currently appropriate to end her life. As for how Pip wound up with such brain damage, the RSPCA suspected irresponsible breeding. One theory is that she's been bred from two Merle dogs to produce a Merle coloring, something which is desirable in today's designer dog culture, DeKaiser revealed to the dodo. Breeding from two Murrays is not recommended, as this colored dog can carry a faulty gene and any offspring can be plagued with health problems. Keeping such a dog alive, in fact, would involve lifelong medication and specialist care. 
Meanwhile, the RSPCA's decision to continue having Pip fostered until she could be adopted and given the full-time care she would need was welcomed. Wonderful news! A huge commitment for someone, but I am sure they will be paid back in equally large amounts of unconditional love and plenty of laughter," wrote one commenter on Facebook. Then another queried, Will she be up for adoption soon? I recently lost my special needs chihuahua, and I would love to offer her a forever home. For now, however, both Peg and Pip are recovering at their foster homes, but they should be up for adoption soon. Indeed, the mother and daughter duo are undergoing amazing recoveries, and given appropriate care, both are expected to live full and happy lives.